Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in on the Pale Rose. Now we have done a couple of videos on this map recently, so I'm probably not going to be doing too many more as of the next couple of days, but who knows depending on what RNG gives us because it is completely RNG dependent. Now what do we already know? We're versing a nurse. I do have Iron Will which helps us out a lot, but I did take off Balance Landing as a prize for Iron Will. Now hopefully with a bit of luck she'll see me where she is right now. I don't know if she saw me with that. She made that a little odd. A little bit short on her second blink, but I can just go downstairs here. She recovered very fast from that blink. That tells me she has an add-on called the Pocket Watch. Pocket Watch just tells us that she can recover from her blinks at a much faster rate. I tried line of sight then, it didn't work. Try and get her to overshoot her blink, and she did. We're going to go all the way back the way, and we're going to keep line of sight. That Pocket Watch is doing damage with that fatigue time. Knowing she's charging two blinks, and I'm running on a very loud sw surface being the swamp, can hurt. But we're going to try and change our movement a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't see me through that. Let's see what she does. She's still a little behind. A little off with her lunge. She's really waiting for those two blinks, which is good for me. It does give me time to react. However, I'm in a bad spot if she gets her blinks now. I'm gonna take the window. And just like that, she overshot her blink again. I'm gonna keep using line of sight. I'm gonna run around again. I did see a generator glowing, so I knew there's a teammate over there. We're gonna keep using this. Looks like she's gonna leave. That's really good for me. Line of sight is the biggest weakness against the nurse, making her not be able to know where I am while paying attention to how long she's charging. Let's talk about the nurse. By default, the nurse moves at 96.5% movement speed. When she's charging her blink, her hand will be open. When her blink is charged, her hand will be closed. She can hold her blink forever if it's her first blink. If it's her second blink, she has a small window where she has to do it or fatigue. Now, I know this guy has a pocket watch, which reduces the fatigue time in between the blinks, allowing her to recover at a much quicker rate and punish us. That being said, line of sight was very friendly to me, and I'm going to be able to use that later on in the trial. Straight away, bad news. We got two generators done on one side of the map. That can hurt us. Got a generator in the middle of the map being worked on as well. Can hear the heartbeat. I'm going to rotate a little bit to the left here. She went upstairs, took a hit, thanatophobia, and ruin on the generator based on the fact that it is currently regressing. So she's putting a lot of a lot of hope into uh, ruin to be able to regress. Teammate made good sidestepping there, but there is an issue that the killer is going to come right back towards this generator now because my teammate is going to loop them back towards us. Now, obviously, based on the fact that my teammate is already injured, they can take them where they need, and the killer is coming right back in like we predicted there. We're going to go a little bit wider away here. Let's see how the other girl moves. She's going to take a hit in the back. I'm going to try and stay hidden. She's looking at the gen. Let's have her check one more time real quick. There you go. That'll be it. Let's go back in. Bit of an interesting play by Megan. Throwing the pallet, going in towards the killer, panicking. This is a good prime example why you shouldn't pallet camp against a nurse. Instantly did a 180, and I believe you are going into the basement. I will not be able to complete this generator in time if she does a really good double blink. However, if she comes out of the basement before she blinks out, I might have just enough window to complete this. I am going to get punished by taking a hit in the back, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to complete the generator. And she has ruined regressing the generator at times two rate, therefore 0.6% per second. We know she likes to follow this girl. We know she likes to see before she blinks. Really good second blink, but not good enough on the first blink. I don't have much to block her line of sight with here, so we're going to keep trying to rotate away a little bit more. See the Jenny upstairs is being worked on too. I don't want to go too far from this. Let's see what she decides to do. Will she check the gen or will she continue to chase me? She's checking the gen upstairs. I can run to the basement and try and save this guy or I can try and complete my gen in the middle of the map. Knowing this guy in the basement is going to hit struggle if I don't come in. I think the right call is not let him go into struggle. If there was one generator left, I would consider completing the generator and then making a play to save him. However, I will have time. If you look at the bar in the bottom left hand side of the screen, as long as that bar does not hit halfway, we will be able to save her. If she attempts to get off the hook herself it will punish her by cutting 20 seconds off her lifespan looks like she wants to heal however i do have a bit of a priority right now you want to know something there's two gens left and the nurse is coming back good second blink she's a little short on that the other guy did drop the pallet early she's going to be able to hear me running let's see what she decides to do she knows where i'm going to be going right back to our generator in the middle two pistons chugging a lot third piston going a decent amount got another player to my right no iron will we'll take a hit if i'm required to looks like my other teammates thinking about doing the same thing What's going on here? How's she going to move? We're going to move through her. Knowing that I have adrenaline, I can play off that. We're going to have to be very careful with our movement. A hit in the back is punishment. I'm going to take a bit of a short wall here. I know she can't leave, and she knows that she can't leave. Therefore, if one person stays here and keeps the pressure with the nurse... 
made her overshoot the Blink, blocked her line of sight again and used it against her. If you can't see line of sight as Nurse, Blink to the last location you saw the Survivor and play off that. Two gens really close together. This one is a little bit out of line of sight though. I tell you what, even though I'm starting it from scratch, I think working on this would be a good idea. We got that other gentleman gone down again. Looks like the fall from the hill wasn't balanced landing, so they're going to be able to use dead hard. They are applying split pressure. This just goes to show you how well Ruin can work towards an end of a trial. And getting a little bit of a penalty from Thanatophobia. It's Thanatophobia tier 2, not tier 3. We saw it at the beginning. Therefore, it's green. It's not actually a purple perk, being ultra rare. Uh, that being said, or very rare, sorry. That being said, we are looking at a generator that's going to be getting a little bit of a penalty. It's going to be getting a 6% penalty based on the fact, or is it... Is it three and a half? It might be three and a half per person injured. So we might be looking at a 7% penalty or a 6%. It's not going to hurt us too much. He's back on that generator with better together. We know where he is. We know what is going on. I'm applying pressure to a different gen. Looks like he's not going to get the gen done in time. And the killer is going to be right beside the hook. Going to be a borrowed time save. Somebody else did take a hit. I have pressure on another objective, which seems to be working really well. So deciding to let go of the generator that I know the killer is going to be playing very close to seems to be working in our favor as a very good play. Unless they're going to leave the killer over here. Breaking the pallet. I'm going to move into the killer just in case I need to take a hit to pull the killer away from the gen nearly done. I'm not going to need to. Adrenaline's any second now. There's going to be our adrenaline play. Pallet is already pulled down. Looks like she's going to the right. None of those players healed up, but the other person did. I'm going to try and apply pressure to the door. Fire away. That guy's in struggle. I see my teammate going for that door. I'm going to go for this door. We're going to all group. We're going to all heal, and then we're going to go make a play for that player as well. She might have Pop Goes the Weasel. Not that, she, not that it matters, because it would be time over. That guy's actually going to be on death hook. I need to try and pull the killer onto me here. Let her see me early while that guy stalls and opens the door. Looks like she's going for the wrong door. This guy who is injured is going to be A-OK. -okay. I want to make sure the guy on the right-hand side is going to be A-OK. -okay. I see three lights on his door. I know both players are going to be fine. The injured player opened the door first. Therefore, the other player might have time to be able to leave as well. And it looks like he is not going to be able to make it out. He wanted to wait because there was an injured player. And he might actually be, get grabbed and get a little bit of punishment for that. That might be a little bit of desync making an almost flawless play. Not flawless at all. And that's going to be the punishment there. The killer did. Now, my teammate didn't want to open the door because he knew there was another injured person in the trial. However, he left it a little bit too late. If he waited any longer he would have went down if he did it a little bit earlier he probably would have got out because he got hit in the door therefore he didn't have dead hard because his adrenaline was on cooldown or he mistimed his dead hard and got hit through it anyways guys gg's well played if you're watching this one over youtube this is an educational game against a nurse i hope you enjoyed it if you want to learn more educational survivor dead by daylight killer content make sure you tune in the live streams where i stream dvd five days a week or you can check out the wonderful array of videos that i have up here based on all killers and survivors not all survivors, but all killers that you guys can play and learn about. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. I will see you in the fog in the next video. Thank you. For